It isn't everywhere that you get to be in two countries at the same time. The Haskell Free Library and Opera House isn't often listed as one of the most popular tourist attractions in the world, but it's definitely unique and interesting in its own right. It is the only building that was deliberately constructed on the border of the US and Canada. Find out more about the extraordinary place in this video. The beautiful neoclassical building was built as a gift for Martha Stewart Haskell and her son Horace Haskell as a homage to Martha's late husband Carlos Haskell, who was a prominent merchant. The Haskells wanted Canadians and Americans to have equal access to the library and opera house, and so they chose to build on the border. Construction began in 1901. The opera house opened in 1904 and the library opened a year later. The library has an extensive collection of books. Inside the century-old library, one can stand in two countries at once with the US-Canada border clearly marked out on the facility floor. The library was established to deliberately straddle the border that separates the US and Canada, making it an exceptionally unique venue. The unique location also means that the building has two different addresses and is recognized as a historic site in both countries. In the United States, it has been registered in the National Register of Historic Places since 1976. In Canada, it was designated a National Historic Site in 1985 and has been a Provincial Heritage Site since 1977. The library collection and the opera stage are located in Stansted, but the main entrance and most opera seats are located in Derby Line. Because of this, the Haskell Library is sometimes called the only library in the US with no books and the only opera house in the US with no stage. There's no entrance from Canada, however, there's an emergency exit on the Canadian side of the building. All patrons and visitors must use the US entrance to access the building. Patrons from Canada are permitted to enter the United States door without needing to report to customs by using a prescribed route through the sidewalk of the Church Street, provided that they return to Canada immediately upon leaving the building using the same route. The Haskell Library and Opera House isn't the only building that is split between two countries. There's also the example of Hotel Arbe, a hotel that is divided between France and Switzerland and the border actually passes through some of the rooms. So, if one books the right room, one can actually sleep in two countries at the same time. Thank you for watching. If you found the video interesting, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to Seanvolution for more such content.